Hi, it's Dr. Wash. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about hip dips um, and specifically botched hip dips. So hip dips are an anatomical area of deficiency just sitting on the side of your body to around where the hip bone is to the top of the leg. So you can have a slight deficiency in there and you can especially see it more on certain movements. Now, some people, lots of people have it, most people have it actually. Um, and some women can be bothered by it, others aren't bothered at all and I think that's been encouraged. But if you are bothered by it and a little bit insecure by it, it can be corrected with filler. But this should be done by someone who's qualified and it's uh, done in a very gentle manner, not causing it to be out pouchy or overfilled. Um, and what I'm seeing in a trend of hip dip is people are trying to sell a whole load of filler and they're doing a lot of filler on the outer qu upper quadrant of the bum. And you'll see in some of the pictures here that there's a complete overfilling of the outer lateral quadrant of the bum here. And what it causes is a very unnatural look and it's kind of bulgy and actually doesn't look sensual, doesn't look like it's, um, you know, you know, helping um, mitigate a hip filler or make, it, make a, um, a hip dip seem softer. So what I use is I use, um, uh, for hip dips, I use MLF2 from Higher Corp. So it's just a filler, um, just like other things for the face, but it's made specifically for the hip dip and gluteal area. Um, and I use it to soften the area and reduce hip dips or give slightly more projection. What I don't do is look to create a very unnatural, overfilled um, buttock kind of area. And I think that's where really we're getting a lot of complications in the UK. People are using a lot of hip dip filler, too much for an area, trying to create a fake look and it's causing problems. If we go right back to the start to why this patient presented, that's so important we have to do that. She first presented because she'd had a BBL and on the right side, she felt that there was an outpouching of fat formed from the BBL. And it's very clearly there and I've identified it in, as you can see the video here. And that area, she's then gone to another doctor asking for some hip dip filler or gluteal filler to soften that. And what's happened is they've ended up putting the filler above it and it's maybe migrated slightly and given this a natural feel. Really what she needed was some fat dissolved into that area, either done by core sculpting or you could have done a fat dissolving injection to bring that area in and soften. The wrong choice here was hip dip filler and that's why she's been left in a worse position. So in this particular case, um, the patient came into me and they actually contacted me on Instagram saying they've had hip dip, they feel like it's been overdone and they feel like they're quote unquote deformed by it. And I've seen them here today and there is uh, a definitely an excessive filler that makes it look like a deformation and an over projection of the lateral hip. And it's more on their right side than their left. And so what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to dissolve that area and just bring that filler in, make it more natural, make it more homogenized, and just in encourage really that it should be softer filler in future. So um, I don't think I'm going to have to jump back in and refill actually in this particular case because there's so much there. The key is to try and dissolve. So she's had 200 mils over the area and actually astonishingly about 150 on just one side. So 150 one side, 50 on the other side. So that's not quite right, is it, obviously. So what I'm going to try and do is dissolve 50 to 70 mils on one side, that right side, and hopefully it will smooth the area, make it seem more natural. 